Good morning all. I wanted to take this recent cold front as an opportunity to give my initial impression of the Packafield jacket. There doesn't seem to be much more of an appropriate time to give a jacket review than whenever it is in the teens or low 20s Fahrenheit. Um, I received this jacket in the mail the 23rd of December, so I've had two days to wear it and get an initial impression from it and I just wanted to share my initial impression and thoughts with y'all so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this jacket please stay tuned and hopefully I can help you out a little bit so before jumping into my initial impressions of the jacket I feel it is important to ask the question why PACA why get a, a down jacket a down jacket an insulated jacket a puffer jacket made from alpaca fiber as opposed to the traditional down or synthetic material um, and my response to why PACA ultimately comes down to the fact that over the two years that I have been wearing apparel from PACA I have been thoroughly impressed and I have very much enjoyed wearing their apparel um, from socks to their jogger pants to long sleeve shirts to the hoodie that I have um, to the hat that I'm wearing. I have not been disappointed by PACA, so whenever I saw that they were unveiling and producing a puffer jacket, I knew that I was going to want one. So the main reason comes down to the fact that I believe that PACA is a great brand and they make some great products. And after reading and viewing some of the material that they posted about what the jacket was going to be made of, what the values of it were going to be, and um, just having seen it, I figured I was going to want one. So I'm not being paid by PACA. This wasn't sent to me for free. I still paid the full price for it. Um, I have no special interest in giving my initial thoughts on this. It is just that I have genuinely enjoyed the brand and that is why I decided to test out this jacket and get it for myself. So that is why PACA whenever it comes to getting a down or an insulated puffer jacket. All right so now for my initial thoughts. Um, I think it's worth pointing out that I've only had this jacket for two days. I received it on the 23rd of December in the early afternoon and today is the 25th of December. So I have not had a tremendous amount of time to wear it out and about, and I have not taken it on road trips, I have not taken it skiing, I have not been out in the slushy, rainy snow with it on, so I cannot say with absolute certainty, or I cannot give absolute empirical data-driven opinions on this jacket. But from the two days that I've worn it, I think it is a fine jacket. Um, compared to the other two jackets that I wear, which are the, if I can get this out from behind me, the Patagonia, this is a Nano Puff jacket. So this was my main jacket for a little while, the Patagonia Nano Puff. And then I've also been wearing the Arteryx Atom for about two years now. Um, fine jacket as well but compared to those two jackets I think this is definitely a more heavy-duty jacket it feels warmer so far um, I have been happy with the Atom um, in 20 in October 2020 my mother and my second brother were in Pueblo Colorado whenever a nasty blizzard hit and anytime that I would have to get out of the car or it was you know there was wind and whatnot the atom was awesome um it was relatively windproof and i have no complaints about that jacket um however this jacket compared to those other two does feel a little bit more heavy duty um the fact that I, uh, it's a natural fiber i think may have to do with that as opposed to thin synthetic material in both of those jackets and um Aside from the Atom, from the impression that PACA's website gives and from any of the information that they've released, 
this jacket was meant to be one where you could go mountaineering in it or you could go on adventures in demanding environments. I mean, their website does very um, proudly display people mountaineering in this jacket. So I think it is safe to say that it is a heavy duty jacket and it feels more like a, hey, it's 15 degrees outside. I want to stay warm. Um, it fits well. Um, I got a, the website recommended that I got a medium. On their website they have a third party, I believe it's a third party application where you can put in your height, your weight, your shoulder width, and um, how old you are, all of that fun stuff where it collects. It uses that data to determine what size it believes that you'd be. Whenever I put in all of my information, it said that I was a medium. Uh, I did not believe the machine, so I went with the large. So I am happy that I did not go with what the machine said, or the computer program said, and that I went with the large, because I wear a large in every other jacket. And that was most definitely the correct choice. So, initial impression, um, I would say that the jackets do not fit completely true to size. Um, if you typically wear a large, go with a large. If you wear a medium and the system tells you to get a small, go with a medium. So I would say that the jackets do not fit true to size according to what the third party um, program says. But the jacket with the large fits nicely. I have room to layer. Um, right now I have the pack of hoodie on as well. I figured it was an appropriate time to put it on. Um, but it's a it's a nice size hoodie and I can throw it on underneath the jacket and it fits fine. My arm mobility is fine. Um, as with any layering, you may not be able to, you may feel some restriction, but large enough to layer and it's small enough to where I don't feel like I'm wearing a oversized baggy article of clothing whenever I don't have any layers under it. Um, I like the pockets. The pockets on the front are nice. Um, they have fleece lining on the front end of the pocket, which truth be told, I have never been a fan of fleece lined pockets. Uh, it's just my thing. You know, whenever it's cold and your hands start to dry out and they get a little bit crackly if you're not moisturizing them, I've just never liked the feeling of skin on felt whenever my hands are cold, but that's just a personal opinion. The pockets are a nice size. Um, they're well placed. They are comfortable. They're warm because the front of the pocket is behind some of the alpaca um, alpaca fill material. So it's not like it's just hands up against um, just the fabric and it's getting cold. There is a well placed internal chest pocket which also has the felt liner. It's a decent size. It'll, it'll fit your phone in there, no problem. Um, maybe your phone in a wallet. But again, just my personal preference. Um, I do not like that it is felt lined, but that is purely personal. That has nothing to do with the performance of the jacket or um, placement of the pockets. That's just my own thing. Um, it does not have any other pockets that I have found. The sides of it do not have any of those glove like you know glove compartment um, pockets so as far as i'm aware there's just those three pockets all three of which do have zippers so if stuff getting in or out is a concern you can zip up all three pockets um, my another initial impression that i've had as you can see a little bit this jacket can take a little bit of work to close it because there's this at least from what I have experienced with this jacket of mine, there is a seam that goes down the zipper, which is a smart idea to add, but sometimes it just doesn't want to entirely cooperate with the zipper whenever you're pulling it up. Uh, I like that the um, part that goes around your mouth does have felt. I, that is the one place I do think that having a felt material is good. So if I zip it all the way up, about two inches 
from the sides of the zipper to up to where the, um, the collar connects to the actual jacket is felt, which is nice if you're, you know, hunkering down, I suppose. It does have a hood. I'll have to put up both of my hoods. So um, if having a hood is something that you like, you do have that option. Um, I don't really wear hoods all that much, but it is there if you want it. Um, it feels like a quality jacket. That is worth noting as well. I, whenever I put this on, it does not feel like some it does not feel like a jacket that was made with little effort. Um, it feels like the people who made this put time and energy and effort into designing and producing this jacket, which is you know, appreciative if you spend money. Um, I like that it does not have a lot of labeling on it. I Whatever know. it is, I prefer minimalist labeling whenever it comes to a jacket. So with this jacket, it has PACA right there on the inside of the whatever the technical term for that seam is. It has a badge right here, and then it has pack fill But other than that, it's a clean jacket. I will call it a clean jacket. Um, but most importantly, I think one could say with the jacket is that it is pretty warm. Um, especially whenever I have experimented with layering, I have not had an issue with staying warm whatsoever. I have not had the experience of being in the rain or in the snow or in the slush or in mist but I have no doubt with the material that this is made of that it would hold up but again I do not have experience with that to provide an initial impression but my initial impression of the jacket to summarize once again is that it is a great jacket from what I have experienced with it for the past two days and I am looking forward to wearing it more and more and hopefully making it my main jacket. That's ultimately the goal of, you know, playing around with stuff is to find one or two things that I can rely on. And this jacket, in my opinion, does seem to be a reliable sound jacket. So that's the opinion.